What's good YouTube, it's your main main code, and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be trying the Fog Volume Node in Godot 4. So make sure y'all like and subscribe, and let's get right into the video. Alright, so this node does inherit the Visual Instance 3D node. It can add fog to a scene using Volumetric Fog, which is an effect you have to turn on using a World Environment node. Its main properties are size, material, and shape. The size is what area the fog will appear in. You can change the fog shape. There are five shapes to pick from. Ellipsoid, which just makes it a circle. Cone, which will make the fog up here in a triangular shape cylinder which makes it a cylinder box which will make it a box and it's the shape that i would recommend using and then there's world now when using the node you'll notice that there's the words global and local next to all the shapes every other shape except for world is local which means it will appear within the size that you've chosen but the world shape is global and it'll take up the entire scene and remove the size property for this scene i'm going to use the box shape since it makes the most sense and then there's the material property you can either make your own shader or use the fog material the fog material has six properties the first property is density this affects how much fog is on screen if density is set to zero or negative no fog will show i have my fog set to 0 0.037 anymore and i feel like the fog is too thick there's the albedo property which just controls the color there's the emissions property this controls what color the light emitted from the fog is generally you want to leave this as black because fog doesn't emit light then there's the height fall off property this controls the height of the fog relative to the rest of the world you shouldn't have to use this too much edge fade is almost similar to density the higher the value the more fog appears on screen the final property in fog material is density texture this property allows you to animate the density of the fog and apparently you can use 3d textures on it as well after that you have your regular visual instance node properties and the transform so you can actually get some pretty decent looking scenes with this node you want to make sure not to apply too much fog because then you won't be able to see anything but also apply enough that the effect has some you know effect yeah those are all the major properties yeah i use this in conjunction with the world environment node and you should have a pretty good looking scene so i hope you all enjoyed today's video make sure you like and subscribe and i'm out of here